my campsite is completely within the clouds but I have to plug in my light so people can find me and I have to find my van okay Mwah. hey how are you cold okay I'm just cuddle. This is why I tell you to sleep underneath the blankie. Why don't you? And then you wake up so cold. It's okay. Mm. Last night, it poured and I felt like I was living in a cloud. Today seems to be nice and bright and sunshiny. And today is the last day that we're working until we have two days off. And I think we've navigated how we're going to do this. So today is all about getting the van ready and going to bed as early as we possibly can. Because we're going to wake up at like 5 o'clock in the morning to drive into town so we can not be around the heat. That's the plan. But... <sighs> we have a lot to clean up in the park. And we got a lot to clean up in the van. So today's going to be a busy day. <sighs> Let's go. Right... So because of that, are you not getting financing for the van? Well, I know you have the money already, but you were trying to back it. So wait, are you still picking up the van today, yeah? Or is it is that tomorrow? That's today. That's today. Yeah! Okay. Hell yeah! Mm -ch. Mm -ch. So, as you can see, the heater is on. It works, okay? And how it happened, I'm not going to tell you how I did the modification, but I did ask... The 14ers, how they use uh, Mr. Buddy heaters here, and I asked another forest ranger, like, what modifications I can do to it to get this thing to actually work. I might have found a space heater. I think I have to drive into Denver and, and find it. I've called stores. That's what I've resulted to. Because I drove all over town last time I was in town looking for a space heater. And I could only find these little tiny ones. They were so cute and they still wanted $20 for them. I remember when those things were like $10 at Dollar Tree or something. Or like Family Dollar or whatever. But anyways, the phone call this morning is actually really... Oh, hold on. Okay, I had to grab Jane and it's like extra cold this morning even though the sun is out and it's bright and shiny it is extra cold this morning but anyways the phone call this morning is honestly really 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 exciting and the reason for that is because that is one of my good friends and they're actually picking up guess what a t1n so my van is a 2003 dodge mercedes sprinter with a sprinkle of Freightliner in it, okay? She is going to pick up a 2006 Dodge, oh crap. This is what's so confusing about these damn vehicles. It's a Dodge Freightliner 
Sprinter. Yeah, she doesn't have the Mercedes logo, but it still is a Mercedes, okay? We have the same engine. I am going to be helping her do a little bit of renovations, and then you guys will ultimately see that van when I end up in South Dakota. And for anybody wondering, after I leave this job, I do have another job lined up in South Dakota. So um, there's not gonna be like crazy traveling happening right now. Um, this year is really about me stacking. I need to like focus on making money. The cost of my rear end, that was a lot and I have to make up for it. So it's all about making money this year. That's it. We're camp hosting and then we're going to South Dakota. And if you've been with me for a while, then you know what South Dakota is and you're not gonna be surprised by nothing. But for the rest of y'all, welcome to the party. Wait till I get to South Dakota. It's about to get different. <clears throat> okay, so a habit that I've started to get into because I normally only wear makeup like once a year, okay? And that's in South Dakota. However, last year I experienced a lot of things that went wrong with my face, acne-wise, blackhead-wise, just, uh, just everything. Like, my face reacted to makeup really, really bad. So, I threw it all away. I bought all new makeup. I'm going to tell you guys the cost of what I spent, okay? From, I went to four stores, okay? Sephora, Walgreens, Walmart, Target. I spent a total of 300 and I think it was like $26 or whatever. But I'm talking new brushes, mascara. I got everything from top to bottom. Everything is brand new. Um, my face has not had a reaction. I've been doing my makeup every day. I'm trying to make it a routine so my my face can get used to it and also um i changed up my okay stop ow stop i changed up my uh facial cleanser because i wasn't sure if that was reacting my face either so um yeah we're in an all new all new transition of crap that really hurt. Okay, so I kind of changed my mind. Um, I think what I'm going to do, honestly, is I'm going to get through today's workday, and then tonight we're driving in to Denver. That's what we're going to do. Um, yeah, like I want, I want to take a shower tonight. I want to wake up and have two days with like, my laundry done. I can wear cute outfits. That I that's what I want. That's what I've just decided. I think honestly why I want to go into Denver so bad is because I just realized I got paid. So now, instead of going to like three or four stores, there's like 12 stores on my list that I'm like I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this. I would like to have this. Are we going to accomplish all of that? Probably not. But I'm here to try. Okay. okay, step one is putting Jane's gate up so she can't go anywhere while I'm gone. And then I open up our uh, timesheet, clock-in app, whatever it is. Um, and then after I clock in, we're going to start cleaning bathrooms and basically get everything done. Bathrooms before the weekend. 
Oh wait, I should put before my weekend. I always leave little notes because it gives you a section when you create your punch in like to, I don't know, I guess I talked to the payroll person. I don't know if anybody actually reads it, but I'd be writing them novels about what happens. <laughs> I've learned to open that thing with my legs because if I don't it really really hurts my arms and today's chore because I already checked the bathrooms last night and I know how nasty they are we're gonna need that gloves. we need to have trash bags we are ready I think ultimately why I film myself cleaning bathrooms is because at one point while I was traveling, I was like, oh, I don't wanna do that job. I wouldn't do this, I wouldn't do that. But then like, I'm pretty comfortable here, honestly. Like I have a place to park, I have a place to plug in and all I have to do is clean bathrooms and like tell guests where to go and give them courtesy notices if they're parked in the wrong spot, take money if they owe parking fees or sell firewood. Like, do I get bothered a lot? Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, I do. Like, is this job ever an off job? No, and that's why tonight I'm leaving and we're gonna go stay on the side of the road somewhere because I need some peace and quiet. Okay. But first, we gotta clean these bathrooms. <sighs> I think a very big misconception about van life is that it's always fun. It's always glorious. It's always gonna be something cool. And like, even though I'm not showing you guys some of the destinations that I'm seeing myself, I'm still filming them. And I'll put out compilation videos probably after I leave this area, but it just takes a little bit of work. And I get to stay at pretty much the highest elevation I've ever stayed at. Last year, I stayed in Stanley, Idaho. That's how I survived this summer. That was a little bit above 8,000 feet in elevation. I'm at 10,000, almost 11,000 feet. I haven't had a summer day. It is literally late July, guys. <sighs> For the trailhead bathroom, I don't have a golf cart yet. I don't think I'll ever get a golf cart. I have a pretty tiny site. But because that bathroom goes through so much toilet paper, and they have so much trash accumulation, every time I can only do one bathroom, like the men's side, and then I have to walk back to my bear box, restock, and then go back and do the women's side. Every day, never fails. Like, I have to show you guys this. This is a camp hosting reality. This is where people use the toilet paper in this restroom that's how you know it hasn't been stolen. That's how you know that toilet paper rolls have just been stolen. Yeah, isn't that great? I went on this Reddit page for camp hosting and it's like, some of the entries are pretty old, but it's like some of the aggressions of camp hosts and the things that they hated about this job I was laughing so hard because man do I identify with 95% of what was wrote. I can't say it on here. Wish I could. But if you find that Reddit link, whew, man, you are going to have a good time because mm, that's the truth right there. Actually, I can tell you guys about one entry because it is absolutely hilarious. Okay, so, because people have such a hard time navigating the campsite, I don't have a big campsite, I really don't, but I'm starting to understand this one post where this guy said, 
as a camp host, I truly believe that you need 10,000 post-it notes everywhere to where people can know what they're doing, where the trash is, where the water is, how to behave, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I was like, oh my gosh. That is a fact. That, oh my gosh, that would solve so many issues if we just made a bajillion signs. Yeah, like right now, I have to leave these bathrooms open, even though there's no smoking signs in these bathrooms. Um, I know that over this weekend, one of my campers enjoyed smoking a cig, doing his morning business in this bathroom right here. So I gotta air it out. So I don't actually know if the signs would be a good thing, a helpful thing. A necessary thing I don't know but we're hopeful for the human race right boy are we hopeful story time while I get water right now. I can get it. So I just found out that my site manager is quitting. I don't know the reason. Um, that's gonna change a few things for me. I think. And I also just got asked by who will become my new site manager if I plan on quitting. And I just want to like let people know that I could complain about this job. Okay? Just like you can complain about your job. It doesn't mean that I dislike it. I'm very comfortable where I'm at. I'm actually very grateful for where I'm at. Um, but saying that this job necessarily isn't for everybody uh, if you have very high expectations and those high expectations are not met ultimately you're not gonna like it here you know what I mean so it sucks because I really like her and her wife they're they're really great people But I meet new people every day, you know what I mean? So here's to meeting new people. I don't want to fill my water up too much because I think like, I looked it up and I already forgot, but each gallon of water, it adds weight and me going up and down these hills so even though I'm gonna be leaving this campsite for the next like three days, um, I like the taste of this water. So, but I am gonna come back up empty. That's at least the plan. Even if I have to drain it by just dumping water, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you headed home? Okay, so we're parked on the side of the road in Denver. Um, I, I genuinely wish that I would like think things through all the way, not just like partially, but like fully think them through. Uh, I tested the Starlink when I was up in the mountains, just kind of like chilling. Yeah, I was parked on the side of the road. I didn't have any worries, but like now I'm in the city 
and I am literally figuring out how to put the Starlink on top of my van. We're, we're next to a busy road. You could probably hear the cars going by. Um, but I got to put this on top of my van, feed the cord through a window. We are not prepared for this. Are we ever prepared for anything? Like, really, though? Come on. Okay, so I bundled this up. We're gonna... We're gonna set it up. We're gonna put it on the roof. And... Feed the cord down. Alright, let's go. Alright, we are booting up. I put it on top of the roof. And I fed it through my window since... It's actually really nice, but I know in the morning it's going to get really hot because I'm so low. And if I really did place this on the van perfectly in the direction it needs to go, I'm going to be so excited. I kind of have figured out like the placements of the satellites. Yeah, I think I did it. Okay, Starlink is successfully on the roof and we are connected. As you can see, there's Grey's Anatomy and fireworks. What the? Oh yeah, 4th of July, okay. We're still in July, okay. We, you know, it's gonna happen all month. We're in a city. We're gonna hear it for like two months. It's gonna be till like August, maybe. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's video. I'm gonna eat this crawfish and these green mussels with this corn. Oh, there should be a hard boiled egg in here too. Where's that? Did I smush it? Oh, I found, I found, I did kind of smushy. Ooh, I saw we, I saw we, I'm still gonna eat you. But anyways, thanks for coming along. And as always, smash that like button, hit the subscribe, and I'll bring you along for more adventures. Keep you guys updated on what's happening and how everything's going, but I'm starting my day off, man. I gotta, I gotta unwind. We are chilling. I hope you are too. Have a good one.